Well, now I've seen fireworks and I've pulled over an out sign here. And as you can probably uh, see, <laughs> we've got a speakingly awesome situation. And um, yeah, this is what you get if you come to Australia at the right time. Even if you spend six months, at least six months, maybe up to a year, probably six to eight months. And um, if you're in WA, you're really going to have to spend at least, at least eight months in WA, I reckon. At least. And maybe even make multiple trips over many years, you know. Like two months, one year, and a different set of two months of, you know, following year. Just to make sure you get everything, you know. Um, as I said, the, the only way is basically to live with the plants. You miss a day, you don't miss much. But once you start missing... Uh, two days or more... Those little little things you've missed start to build up, and you end up missing quite a lot. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that's Yankee Little for you. Oh. <sighs> Yankee Little Kangaroo or something. Yeah, sorry about that. Look it up on the map, fellas. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for me. Okay. Anyway, over and out, we'll move on to something else further up the road. Probably going to Brooklyn Road and we'll survey the copus area that we got stuck in just to see if it's even got even more flooded and whether it's worth taking a little bit of a, you know, a look see recce sort of thing. You know, maybe something's germinated or come up through the ground or something. Anyway, over and out for now. <laughs> 